What's up, YouTube? Today, I want to talk about creating realistic strings and plucks in Vital. So not long ago, I did a very similar video in Serum. So I would probably recommend checking that video out because I'm going to use very similar techniques, but also expand on some of those ideas that we uh, used in Serum. So anyway, without blabbering too much, let's dive in and have a look. So today's sound revolves around comb filters and running a white noise through the comb filters and using those as a kind of resonator. One of the cool things about Vital as opposed to Serum is we have a little bit more freedom in terms of routing the filters. So for example, in Vital, we can run a filter before the comb filter. And in Serum, you could do that and run the comb filter as a Serum effect. But the problem then is that the comb filter is not polyphonic. So when you trigger a new note, the release of the comb filter is then reset. So that, that's one of the slight issues with Serum's comb filters. Um, but I guess that's why they have those kind of more experimental ones with low pass filters in the chain and all sorts of stuff like that. So regardless, we can get a little bit more creative with how we want to run, you know, say, for example, if we want a filter before or after the resonator system, we can patch it as we want, which is pretty cool. So what I want to do is I actually want to start out uh, backwards in this video. So in the previous video, what we did is we created the kind of pluck sound first, and then we turned it into a bow sound. So one thing that I've kind of uh, started doing recently um, differently to what I did in that video is you can get a little bit more creative with the movement of the bow sound. So Let's just set up a quick patch, for example, here. Let's turn on the noise oscillator and let's create a comb filter over here. So let's go over to the filters. Let's choose the first one over here. So it's important to key track the comb filter. That way um, it automatically knows the note that are gonna be triggered by uh, the actual filter itself. What we also wanna do is we wanna make sure that SMP is being sent through the filter. So traditionally the pluck would be created by just creating like an envelope, setting it onto the level like this, and then just creating a very sharp decay. And again, what we wanna do is we wanna turn up the release so that we can just pluck one note, the release tail of that comb filter will uh, resonate out. A bit more like a pluck. So like I said, in this episode, we're doing things a little bit backwards. I wanna start out with the bow, because I want to show you a really interesting little trick that we can do with the movement of the noise that's being sent into the filter. So what we want to do is let's just create an LFO and apply it to the level like this. And then what we can do here is we can set this to seconds and we can turn it up quite high. So already you see we get this kind of like, it, it sounds like something kind of like plucking that string multiple times. And to create kind of more of like a bow kind of motion, what we wanna do is we wanna create this kind of like ramp up to a zigzaggy kind of shape, something like this, right? So getting it perfect does take a little bit of time. <laughs> But instead of the smooth, what I wanna do is actually use this fade in. So what the fade in does is this basically takes the trigger input from Vital and it slowly fades the amplitude of the LFO to the source. So you can kind of get this uh, attack sound to the bow. So what I also wanna do is I wanna apply a little bit of random to the frequency here. That just gives us a slightly more realistic kind of sound. Uh, 
Okay, that's sounding good. So like I said, what I wanna do here is I wanna apply a bit of filter before this filter, right? So what we can do is we can set this to filter two and we can set this input to SMP. So it's basically taking from this noise, gonna filter it, then it's gonna send it to the comb filter. And so if we um, use this slider at the top here, this kind of allows us to change the brightness of that input to the resonator. And then here, I believe this cut is a low pass after the resonator. Great, that's sounding cool. Okay, so I wanna put a little bit of saturation and maybe a little bit of chorus and reverb just to create a bit more of a kind of lively sound. Sometimes I find here the kind of fluttering effect is a bit too drastic, so I can just reduce these points a little bit. Okay, so what I also wanna do is I wanna apply a velocity to this amount. So that when we trigger low notes, it doesn't actually excite the resonator as much. And we can actually go into the matrix here and we can kind of change this amount so that it doesn't go like all the way down, do you know what I mean? Fantastic, okay, that's sounding great. Cool, so we've got our kind of like bowed algorithm created. How do we turn this into a plucked algorithm? Well, it's actually pretty simple. All we need to do is we need to remove this modulation and create a enveloped modulation. So yeah, what we can do is we can go into the matrix and we can apply a macro. And what this is gonna do is this is going to turn down the velocity that's being sent to LFO1 into value minus 0 0.5. So now we turn this up and we get silence. Now what we can do is we can create LFO2 and what we wanna do here is just create like a pluck kind of sound like this or a pluck shape like this. We can turn the smooth down and we can turn this to envelope mode. Set this to seconds. And then here, let's apply this to the level, but then let's get the velocity to modulate this amount. And so here in the modulation tab, we set the modulation of the velocity to mod depth, uh, mod five depth to zero, and then we turn it up with this macro uh, by the same amount that the other one was being turned down. So let's just say 0 0.5. And now this should go from 
LFO1 to LFO2. Often I find um, we need to apply this to the attack uh, of that main envelope as well, so that we get that full pluck at the beginning. Notice how the bow is much louder than the pluck. So we can actually go in here and we can turn this amount down to compensate for that. and then just turn up the kind of main level Maybe add a macro to this reverb amount so we can kind of wash it if we need. And then also changing these comb filter types can also give you vastly different kind of timbres. The flange minuses tend to sound a little bit more kind of uh, woodwindy, especially at lower frequencies. Also, if you jump into the matrix and you fiddle with these, anything that has macro one, uh, fiddle with these uh, remaps over here, you can get it to mix from bow to pluck really nicely so that you can kind of get like these halfway marks, which is like a slight pluck and then a bow.
that actually sounds better than I expected. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be uploading this preset to my Patreon for all my $5 supporters. So if you want to know what that's all about, check out the link in the description. And that should sum up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.